Hi, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and today I want to introduce you to Axiom Precision. I've had this machine in my shop for a few months now, and overall, extremely impressed. Now, I'm very familiar with it at this point, but when I first got it, I was impressed with it right out of the box. And here in a few minutes, you're going to see all those reasons why. What I'm going to do in this video is actually do the assembly process. Now I've got some more videos coming out here soon of showing you some tips and tricks using this machine and also some projects that we're going to be building out of it. So follow along, let's get this thing built. Now this assembly process is extremely straightforward, however, except for this spot, I almost messed up. These base rails, they're wider on uh, one side than they are the other. You want that wider width to actually be horizontal with the floor. Now the ends of these rails can mount in either orientation. So at, when I first started putting it together, I was putting it together to where they were vertical instead of horizontal. And when I did that, the tool cabinet wouldn't fit in there. So you need these things to be horizontal to allow for the tool cabinet to hang on there and also the other end accessory. This is probably the toughest part of the whole assembly process. This machine is extremely heavy. I was not going to be able to move this thing by myself, so my wife uh, lended me a hand, thankfully. What we did is I moved one corner at a time onto the base, and then once we got it settled onto the base, I'd lift up one side and let her get the bolt started. Now the bolt is pretty long and solid bolt, and then there is a rubber spacer that goes in between the machine and the base. And that keeps out vibrations for uh, whenever you're using the machine. This is another spot that impressed me. The wires themselves are very nice and the connectors are metal with uh, screw on tips so you get a good, good connection. This is the only part where I actually had to add a component to the machine itself. The Z-axis stepper motor. It's not on there during shipping because of height and also to protect it so it doesn't get damaged. So all of the screws are actually already ready on the machine. You don't have a box of screws to have to deal with or anything like that. You just unscrew the screws that are there, mount the stepper motor, tighten down the set screw on the coupler, connect the wires, and then you can put the cover on. The cable for the controller has two ends. One is a metal end that's kind of silver, and the other is a plastic black one. The plastic black end goes to the controller, and the metal end goes on the machine. One of my favorite features of this machine is that it has magnetic sensors that will allow you to zero out X, Y, and Z at any point, and it automatically asks you that as soon as you turn it on. So I appreciate you sticking around for the entire assembly process. As you can tell throughout that assembly process, this thing is built like a tank. They didn't skip on anything. So I'm very impressed with this machine and I'm very happy to have this thing in my shop. Now, Axiom Precision did provide me an affiliate link. If you click the link that's in the description below, you can get a lot more detailed specs uh, than what I could even go over and tell you on camera here. But it shows all the different machines that they have. 
And if you do decide to buy one and you click that link and buy it through my affiliate link, I'll get a little bit of a kickback on it and hopefully maybe start working on paying this machine off. So I appreciate you watching this video. Check out the videos that I'm going to have to come because I'm going to show some tips and tricks on this and some projects being made with it. And of course, many other videos as well. So thanks for sticking around. God bless.